Vitamin D? No idea. Vitamin you get from the sun and that. So that you get from the sun within your body? It's a, it's a supplement uh, that... Um... Is it sunlight? Oh, it's sunlight! The general opinion on vitamin D is that it's a sunshine vitamin. However, there is a common misconception about the effects and benefits of vitamin D and how it could improve your everyday life. Vitamin D is commonly absorbed through the skin as well as various foods. Vitamin D contributes to the maintenance of our normal bones, muscle function and teeth, as well as the normal absorption and utilisation of calcium and phosphorus. Vitamin D also contributes to the normal functioning of our immune system. More energy, happier. I think it's something to do with bones, I think. I think you feel a lot more energetic. I would imagine maybe you're less tired. The average person needs 400 international units of vitamin D a day, which equates to approximately 15 minutes in the sun, depending on your skin type. Now, if you feel you're not getting the recommended daily intake of vitamin D, it could affect your health in various ways. The typical symptoms I see include bone pain, fatigue, altered mood or even depression, insomnia and muscle weakness. Now, this can be misdiagnosed for other more serious conditions and it's always worth considering the next time you visit your GP or pharmacist. So fairly obvious by taking vitamin D. I'm trying to think of the sort of foods that have vitamin D in, but I think it's just exposure to the sun, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you could take vitamin D and also get some sunshine. A lot of people don't realise that vitamin D is absorbed through food. So foods such as fatty fish, like salmon, cod liver oil, including orange juice, eggs and liver. These are key to increasing your vitamin D levels. Increase your intake of vitamins with supplements. If you, like many other people in the UK, spend a lot of time indoors or during the winter months, you should consider taking a vitamin D supplement. Ultraviolet lights are best for those who don't get enough light in the winter months or who find it difficult to absorb vitamin D. However, since they carry the same risks as tanning beds, they should really only be used by those with your doctor's recommendation. A healthcare professional should always be consulted before attempting to alter your daily routine in any way.